Hello all, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we shall discuss on the UDS service 19 that is a read diagnostic information. So this service allows the client to read the status of the server resident diagnostic trouble code that is the DDC information from the issues or the servers or the group of uh, servers within the vehicle. So uh, it can be used for retrieving the number of uh, DDCs uh, that is matching the client defined DDC status mask or listing all the DDCs that is uh, matching the uh, client defined DDC status mask or uh, DDC snapshot data you know retrieving the DDC snapshot data or the extended data etc. Uh, for this purpose we can uh, use this uh, UDS service uh, 19. So uh, before uh, we go into the complete uh, you know service request and the response format and the examples uh, you should know uh, uh, you should know on this uh, what is DTC and uh, what uh, what is the you know uh, DTC status byte what is a DTC status byte so uh, in our ECU uh, there are uh, certain tests uh, that are carried out periodically so uh, the results of these tests uh, will tell uh, or will uh, update the DTC status byte so DDC status byte which is a, which is a one byte value which is associated with the DTC that is a diagnostic trouble code. So uh, the uh, update of this DDC status byte will tell whether the error or the DTC is active or passive in our ECU. So let's see uh, the format of this uh, no, the each bit information uh, of this DDC status byte. So uh, this is the uh, regarding the each bit information of the DDC status byte. The bit zero is uh, indicates the test failed information. If ever the bit uh, zero is set, then uh, the DDC test uh, test is failed at the time of the request. Whenever we uh, whenever the client uh, requests the uh, server or the ECU, at that time uh, the DDC test is failed. So if it is zero, then the DDC test is not uh, not failed, uh, and um, bit one will tell us test failed this operation cycle so uh, whether uh, the uh, if ever this bit is set then the information is uh, uh, the the test uh, ddc test is failed in this current operation cycle whatever is configured for the ecu if not then the ddc test is not failed in the current operation cycle and um, the bit 2 will tell the pending DTC. So uh, this uh, this tells whether the uh, DTC uh, like the DTC test is failed during the current or the last completed operation cycle. The current or the previous operation cycle. And uh, bit 3 will tell uh, regarding the confirmed DTC uh, whether the DTC is confirmed, whether the test is failed and the and it is stored in the ECU or not. That information will be provided by this confirmed DTC whenever it is set. And uh, test not uh, bit 4 is test not completed since last clear. So uh, since the last code, code clear the test is still not uh, performed that, that information will be provided by bit 4 and bit 5 tells us uh, test failed since last clear so since the last code clear the test is test has again failed and test not completed this operation cycle bit 6 so this will tell that a test is not at all completed whenever we request uh, at that time the test is not completed in the current operation cycle that is going on and uh, bit 7 will tell us the whether the warning indicator is requested or not so this was regarding the you know uh, all the bits of the status uh, byte ddc status byte so now let's move towards this uh, service uh, request and the response format so when it comes to the request, firstly the service ID 19 followed by the sub functions. So uh, there are uh, quite a lot of uh, sub functions here in this 19 service because as it is a diagnostic information, we have a lot of information that we need to uh, that we have to read from our ECU. So I have uh, listed a few here. So uh, 0, 01 that is number of DTCs by status masks. So uh, it will tell the number of DTCs, the number of errors that is uh, present in our ECU uh, currently when we request and also uh, 02 uh, report DTC uh, by status mask. It will report, it will give us the DTCs, uh, DTC uh, values, the DTC number uh, based on the status mask that we provide and uh, uh, the 0 F means report mirror memory DTC status mask so the mirror memory uh, in, uh, the mirror memory store DTC status uh, DTCs uh, will be provided here and uh, uh, 11 that is report number of mirror uh, memory DTC status mask Num uh, the number would be given so uh, similar to the previous one then uh, 12 that is uh, number of emission related OBD DTC by status mask so emission related uh, information uh, DTCs uh, will be listed uh, uh, by this uh, sub function and 13 that is report emission related OBD DTC by status mask so 
again uh, the emission related obd dtc uh, by status mask would be listed here then uh, the next byte the next byte that is a dtc status mask we need to provide for all these uh, function we need to provide the dtc status mask like uh, the mask value uh, the one byte value so that would be provided here so this would be uh, the request format and uh, for this the response would be as per uds plus 40 gets added to 19 so 69 followed by the sub function whatever is the sub function that we provide uh, from here right a one byte value so that sub function would be uh, given here in the response along with that whatever is the status mask that we have provided and uh, let's say that we have given the sub function as number of dtc by status mask we want the number of dtcs so the response would be like uh, the DTC format identifier will also be given uh, the fourth byte. So say for example, uh, the uh, the DTC format is uh, a DD, uh, 73 uh, DTC uh, format. That is SA, SAE J1939 uh, uh, DTC status format. Then 02 would be given. Or if it is ISO, then it is 03 would be given as a response. Then followed by the count, whatever is the count, two bytes value. So DTC count uh, high byte and low byte. So the number would be given here. So this would be the response. So similarly, uh, if it is a, uh, uh, I mean, for the negative response, it will be seven F followed by the service ID, followed by whatever is NRC. Uh uh, would be given so this would be the negative response so let's take an example of uh, sub function say report number of dtcs by status mask which we just saw so for this the request would be uh, 19 service uh, i mean the service id followed by the sub function uh, that is uh, 01 01 represents number of uh, uh, dtc by status mask followed by the status mask the status mask value is 08 so uh, as i mentioned this status mask is based on these bits so uh, we want uh, 08 so uh, that is given as the status mask here so for this the response would be uh, plus 40 gets added to 1959 followed by the sub function that is 01 that is report number of ddc by status mask followed by the uh, ddc status uh, availability mask that is uh, the uh, availability mask is a uh, uh, mask that is 2f followed by the format identifier whatever is the format identifier that is uh, 01 so here uh, iso uh, format uh, ddc format is taken so it is 01 here followed by the count so here uh, the count is 1 which means that uh, one uh, one of the ddc is set so that is that's why uh, the uh, the count is 1 here yeah so this was regarding the sub function the report number of DTC by status mask. Similarly, say for example, um, we take the sub function as report DTC uh, by status mask. So it was number of DTCs here, the DTCs uh, itself. So the request should be 19 followed by the sub function 02 followed by the DTC status mask 01. That is test failed bit set. So uh, the response would be 59 followed by the sub function ID uh, 02 followed by 7F. So here uh, none of the DTCs are set at the moment. So we get this as the response as 7F say for example if uh, there were some dtc set then in such case it would be something like this the same request you can see here the same request i have taken here the response would be uh yeah seven f followed by the dtc uh, number that is 089b17 this is a dtc number followed by its uh, status so its status must that is 24 similarly there is one more dtc also that is set so that dtc is 08 zero five one one so its status is 2f okay so this would be something like this uh, as the response so let's take another example say report dtc uh, snapshot identification say um, we want the snapshot information or the free frame information uh, uh, like based on the record number so uh, the request would be something like this that is uh, 19 followed by the sub function id 03 that is report dtc snapshot identification so for this uh, so the request would be uh, only this much we don't need to provide any status mask here because it is regarding the uh, snapshot identification so we just provide uh, the sub function 03 so for this the response would be 59 followed by the sub function 03 followed by the the snapshot uh, information that is uh, uh, which dtc so this uh, this dtc has occurred and it's uh, snapshot number 01 and uh, it's a snapshot record number 01 similarly uh, the same dtc it, it is having a uh, two snapshot record so the latest i mean the latest uh, snapshot should be given so this uh, 01 and 02 the these are the two uh, latest uh, snapshot uh, records similarly another another dtc uh, snapshot record also once it has occurred uh, just think that so then um, that dtc number that is 789a bc with uh, its snapshot uh, record number 01
so, so it would be something like this so this was regarding uh, the few of the sub functions that is the report uh, 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 no uh, number of DTCs uh, by status mask uh, report DDC by status mask or report DDC snapshot identification so when it comes to the uh, NRCs that is supported in this service uh, firstly 12 that is a function not supported 13 incorrect message length or invalid format and 31 request out of range so this was regarding the supported NRCs so yeah um, so I could not uh, discuss all the uh, sub functions because he in this service there are um, uh, many sub functions uh, to say on it uh, in the upcoming videos I uh, will discuss on those uh, uh, other uh, sub functions and uh, thanks for watching the video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up yeah thank you